Hello and welcome to Pause Channel. Our video today is about wolves attacking a German Shepherd in Russia. According to the sources the German Shepherd and a Husky mix were left outside the coal mine and both were tied to a post when the wolves attacked them. Wolves use their incredible sense of smell combined with excellent hearing abilities to help them find prey. Wolves chase and test their prey, looking for the animals they can kill while expending as little energy as possible and decreasing chances of injury. Single wolves or mated pairs typically have higher success rates in hunting than do large packs. Single wolves have occasionally been observed to kill large prey such as moose, bison and muskoxen unaided. This contrasts with the commonly held belief that larger packs benefit from cooperative hunting to bring down large game. The size of a wolf hunting pack is related to the number of pups that survived the previous winter, adult survival, and the rate of dispersing wolves leaving the pack. The optimal pack size for hunting elk is for wolves, and for bison a large pack size is more successful. Wolves move around their territory when hunting, using the same trails for extended periods. After snowfalls, wolves find their old trails and continue using them. These follow the banks of rivers, the shorelines of lakes, ravines overgrown with shrubs, plantations, or roads and human paths. Wolves are nocturnal predators. During the winter, a pack will commence hunting in the twilight of early evening and will hunt all night, traveling tens of kilometers. Sometimes hunting large prey occurs during the day. During the summer, wolves generally tend to hunt individually, ambushing their prey and rarely giving pursuit. People should never leave their pets outside at night or even the day, where they share territory with wild animals such as wolves, bears, leopards etc. It's very hard to understand why would someone left their dogs outside tied to a post, when they are aware of wild wolves presence in that area. It's understandable that they chain their dogs so that the dogs don't run into the wild chasing a wild animal. But this doesn't mean that they should be left tied to a post where wild animals can easily get to them and kill them. They were there to make security guard aware of any approaching danger i.e. robbers, wild animals etc. Apparently the security guard was asleep and kept on sleeping through all of this ordeal, while wolves killed the poor dog. If the kennel would have got a secure gate in front of it, all of this could have been prevented. The poor dog had to suffer because of the stupid owner. The owner should have made sure that the dogs were behind secure gates. It is always hard to watch dogs suffering because of irresponsible ownership. We can only educate people through our videos, and we'll keep on emphasizing that please always make sure your dogs are well protected against wild animals. Always leave them in secure sheds, kennels or dog houses if they have to be outside of your home at night. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.